My Sister, the recent well-received film in China, reflects the idea that some families in China prefer boys to girls. Sons are often preferred because daughters will be married off, and sons will inherit family property. Some families will favor or even spoil their sons, but ignore their daughters. Especially for the eldest daughter, parents will teach her to tolerate her younger brother and not let him get wronged. In order to have a son, some families may even ask women to keep bearing children. But nowadays, with the rapid development of education in Chinese society, people's obsession with sons has weakened, and some may prefer daughters. Except for a few remote poverty-stricken areas where such concepts still exist, Chinese families are not as contentious as many foreigners think. Perhaps both parents and children are not good at expressing their love for the family members. But families are still full of warmth. The film "My Sister" tells a story about a sister and her younger brother who depend on each other for a living. An accident took the lives of their parents, and the protagonist An Ran knew for the first time that she had a younger brother and had to bear the obligation to raise him. Due to her parents' preference for boys, An Ran lacks love and approval since childhood. After she failed in the application of the college entrance examination, for example, her parents secretly changed her own choices, which led to her missing out on her favorite college and major. What's worse, after starting to work, she receives prejudice from others due to her nursing profession. Some people used to think that nurses are of low social status, do hard and tedious work, and need to serve patients like servants and endure unreasonable demands of patients. And compared with medical profession, the medical knowledge of nursing is relatively simple. So she hopes to enter a postgraduate school for further study through her own efforts. However, the unexpected brother undoubtedly hinders An Ran's ideal. An Ran thinks her younger brother is a burden, while the younger brother thinks that this sister is strange and inhospitable. An Ran plans to help his brother find a foster family and sell the house her parents left for further study. However, the younger brother makes troubles unreasonably. He needs a breakfast made by his sister into a group, and prevents An Ran from finding a foster family in various ways. The two siblings have a lot of friction, but they are also getting along well with each other. For example, the sister learns to make meat buns for the brother, and the brother will cook ginger soup for his sister when she is ill. When the sister is angry with her brother's anger at the adopter, her brother cries out, "You like me?" to express directly that he doesn't want to leave his sister. When they lean together, the brother says to his sister, "Can you wait for me?" The brother hopes that his sister will slow down a bit and accompany him to grow up. The two go from disgusting each other to mutual understanding and growth. Making people deeply feel the preciousness of kinship. Meanwhile, An Ran's aunt is also an important role in the film. Her aunt, as the eldest daughter, is always tolerant of her younger brother. When she was a child, she gave food and toys to her younger brother, and later she gave the opportunity to study to him. After marriage, she even helped her brother take care of his children. She certainly has her moments of grievance, but usually she just keeps them in her heart, and gives love to her younger brother. Many viewers who are also sisters feel the same. In the film, An Ran's uncle is unreliable. He always plays cards, does not have a steady job, and even often grabs benefits from others. But he still misses his daughter 
and would care and consider for Ai Ran. The audience comments on the film vary from people to people. Some people think the film speaks for women, reflects social problems, and the story is very touching. Some argue that it's just a commercial film using feminism as a promotion stunt, which is superficial and lacks sincerity. It raises questions but cannot really solve the questions. Some people feel that the ending doesn't give a voice to women. But retains a subconscious prejudice against women, while some think the ending is open and the answer is not just right and wrong. Thus, audience needs to think rationally. To sum up, there is still a long way to speak up for women.